This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at kansasgrainsorghum.org. Hmm. <laughs> Let's talk baseball. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot cheerier. <laughs> yeah. I love baseball. Well, I've got a grandson now that, that, that's playing baseball, and yes, he's pretty good. In fact, their, uh, their club team last year won every tournament they were, they were in. Oh. But uh, oh. anyway... We yep. have a fine tradition of baseball players in Kansas. Yes, we do. A very long, long distinguished list. Well, and we've done the story about, you know, uh, Evers to Chance to, mm -hmm. you know, and of course Evers is from Kansas. Uh, and, I mean, uh, Mickey Mantle, who uh, you know, grew up around Baxter Springs and played there. And I mean, it just kind of goes, goes on and on and on and on. And on. Well, yes. and and because a lot of major leagues uh, for a lot of years came to Kansas to scout a lot of the teams, you know, Sandlot teams and mm -hmm. American Legion, and uh, they still kind of do. And so, anyway, one of the people we're going to talk about is a guy that played in some World Series, won some games in the World Series, was a pitcher, and I'm glad I never faced him. Mike Torres. Amazing, amazing talent. And we're going to wish Mike Torres a happy 70th birthday this year. Great story, Frank. To begin, Mike Torres was inducted into the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame 10 years ago, and the legendary player will turn 70 in August. His career began when he signed as an amateur free agent with the St. Louis Cardinals in September 1964. He made his debut at the age of 20 with the Cardinals. Mike seldom pitched in his first two seasons. He had a breakthrough season in 1969, going 10-4, he was traded to the Expos midseason on June 15, 71, for Bob Reynolds. In 1972, Mike went 16 and 12 with 3.33 ERA and 240 innings. In the 1974 season, Mike logged in a 15 and 8 win-loss record in 186 innings. Mike was acquired by the Baltimore Orioles from the Expos in 1974. In 1975, he had perhaps his best season of his career with the Orioles, going 20-9 and nine with a 3.06 earned run average in 270.2 innings pitched. However, he also led the lead in walks with 133. Mike was traded along with Don Baylor and Paul Mitchell by the Orioles to the Oakland A's for Reggie Jackson, Ken Holtzman, and pitcher Bill Van Brummel in 1976. He was traded to the Yankees early the next season. Mike won two games in the 1977 World Series for the world champion Yankees, both of them complete game victories, and won 15 or more games in six consecutive seasons. He caught Lee Lacey's pop-up bunt for the final out of that 1977 series. After the Yankees' 1977 championship season, he signed as a free agent with the Boston Red Sox. He won 16 games during the 78 season. In the 78 American League East tiebreaker game, he allowed a three-run home run to light-hitting Yankee shortstop Bucky Dent in the late innings of the division deciding 163rd game. On January 13, 1983, the Red Sox traded Mike to the New York Mets. The Mets sent minor leaguer Mike Davis to the Red Sox to complete that trade. Released by the Mets in 1984, Torres signed with the Athletics in July and they released him in August. As an actor, he appeared in Boston Red Sox 100 Years of Baseball History, Jungle Assault, and 1977 World Series. Ba, ba, ba. 